Hello people, Night Jade here in Kerbal Space Program, off on an Easter egg hunt again. I'm actually going to be revisiting an old Easter egg that I found. I didn't personally actually discover it, but um, there is a little something that I can do that is a discovery. At Moho, there is one Easter egg, the crater. Nobody knows how deep it is, only that it's roughly five kilometers deep. Using HyperEdit, I figured out how to get the exact depth. So I want to land about uh, 0.8. As you can see, I've already been here. Let's just get this right way up. The wheels are working. Good. Because on more than one occasion I've landed and the wheels aren't working properly. working touched what the f fuck up in there apparently it crashed into moho and here's the replacement coming in off we go yay it's actually working on one occasion I've had to cancel the mission because the wheels have stopped working Mm, it's drifting a bit. It's supposed to do that. Red, there's anomalous forces at work here. So I'll just go get the numbers that I need and um, jump cut. I've just discovered that by time warping, it actually drags you towards the crater. See? Don't want that to be happening. All I want to know is what the highest and lowest points are so I can figure out a rough average of the crater rim. So now I can figure out how deep the crater is. So, I'll jump cut without using physics warp. STOP SPINNING! No! No! Stop it, don't you dare go down there. No! Shit! I've had an idea. Rather than using a probe, I'm going to use a Kerbonaut. And I'll use the uh, debug console to give them infinite RCS. Adam Kerman, you're about to become a incredibly famous EVA let's get you out infinite RCS on good go away. there we go uh, let's just see land All right so I can make Kerbals land of their own accord and uh, right that's the ocean so edit orbit so top to edit, active vessel, altitude, 7,000 around Moho, let's go. Anyway, I'll get this all sorted out, see you in maybe 10 minutes or so. I may have clicked infinite RCS as opposed to infinite EVA. Just as a note. Look how happy he is to be at the highest point on Moho's crater rim. I'll just make a note of that at 5,000. The pen's not working. There we are. 5,194 meters. Now I've got to find the lowest point on the crater, then I can get a crude average from which I will work from to get the next step. I sort of might have crashed the Kerbo Nought into the lowest ridge, which is 5,000. 63, so working from that, 7, 5, 2, 10 divided by 2, so 0.5, 3, um, 2.5, so that becomes an 8, that's a 2, that's a 1. The average is 5,128.5 metres from that, I'll just check that on a calculator to be sure. No, I was not wrong. So let's close that now. I'm not under acceleration. Right, I can't select it. And now the last bit of the puzzle. Trapped 200 meters above sea level at the bottom of uh, the crater is a probe that I sent down here. What I'm going to do is use HyperEdit to help me out here because uh, nobody's been able to figure out how 
low this point is down because everything just gets stuck at some point in the tunnel and they can't get a reading. So I'm going to spawn the... I'm going to move this using the landing module to exactly 50 meters above it. And I get 243. So that means that the point is 193 meters above sea level. So if we take that, uh, that becomes a 5, a 3, carry over, 9. The crater is 4,935 meters in depth. According to the wiki, no one knows how deep it is, so I have answered that question. <laughs> and uh, quite excitingly, I've actually discovered something in Kerbal Space Program. I'm going to be so famous! Woo! Not that anybody actually cares. Anyway, I'm Nightjade. Thanks for watching. See you next time.